Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at a, another 90s Barbie. So we have Victorian Elegance. This doll is copyrighted 1994 and she is made in China. Her product number is 12579. Now this line was made in collaboration with Hallmark. Um, they make cards, just in case you didn't know. Um, so I'll take you through the box. So it opens like that, little flap on the front there with a tab. So the box all around has this blue or, or more of a teal pattern and you have an, a photograph of Barbie on the front, the Barbie logo. Um, box is pretty much plain around. Then on the inside it has this here. And a beautiful illustration just there. We have the warranty. Okay, so Barbie comes with a pearlescent white stand. Well, it's more of a cream. And it has the name of the doll on the front there. And then she came with these two cards, which do open. So there's this design here. and this design here. And Barbie herself. So she comes in this very elaborate costume. <clears throat> it is made of a, well, it's kind of like a fleece type fabric. It is a knit. It's like fleecy on one side, plain on the other. It does seem to be coming across as more of a red in the footage, but it is more of a kind of burgundy maroon colour. It has underneath this panelled uh, like flute skirt, like, like five panels, something like that. And then it has these attached kind of little loops here and this over skirt piece here, which is gathered where those three loops are. Now, I don't believe that detaches, it's permanent, but it's loose enough to allow the doll to be undressed. Um, oh, her bonnet's fallen off. Um, so she has like this little bonnet. It's more of like a headband. It's a bit ruffled, same material. It's got a little bit of faux fur on it and it just ties under the chin with these ribbons here. And Barbie has this faux fur stole or collar and it actually just attaches directly onto the dress with Velcro. So there's a little bit of Velcro on each side there. And it's lined with tricot. The sleeves of the dress have these fur cuffs on them and she also has a faux fur muff with a tiny elastic loop to go around her wrist. And that too has tricot inside. So the dress has curved seams on the bodice, going up to the arm holes, and it has gold buttons down the front. It closes in the back with some Velcro. She also comes with black skates. They're like a hard plastic and the skate I believe comes off. Now the doll herself, she has the basic Barbie articulation of the time. So she has the up and down legs with bend, oh God, bend and click knees, although they're quite stiff. It feels like they're gonna snap at any second. Um, she has the twisting waist, up and down and out arms that are bent, and the rotational neck joint. 
In terms of jewellery, she has a gold ring and some gold earrings. Her hair is brunette and it is tied in a ponytail, but it's kind of just been brought up with just one piece of the elastic. So that's it's a very messy, very pathetic updo. Um, but that's all right, I intend on leaving her hair out. I actually intend on giving her a fringe. Okay, so she has blue and purple eyes, um, a, like a light pink eyeshadow, black mascara, and orangey red lips and blush. So the reason I decided to get this doll is because she has a very similar facial screening to Stroll and Fun Barbie. And I've always loved the idea of having a brunette Stroll and Fun Barbie. Um, so I decided to get this girl here and I intend on cutting her a fringe and dressing her up as a brunette Stroll and Fun Barbie. Okay, so here she is in Stroll and Fun Barbie's outfit and I think she looks much happier in vibrant colours. Um, I've just got her hair in a very messy ponytail at the moment. The great thing is is that although the, the updo was quite messy and a little bit pathetic, it just means that they haven't cut any of it to an awkward length, so all of it is nice and long. So you can have her hair out. It does need a bit of a boil wash or something to straighten it out, but it will look quite nice, I think. The original outfit is really not my style. It's a bit too, a bit too stuffy. Um, so I wasn't keen on that. I would never have thought of getting this doll if I hadn't seen her face close up. And that brings me to another point. I went through a bajillion of these dolls on eBay trying to find one that did not have um, wonky face paint. So even then, one eye does look slightly smaller than the other. And also the hairline can be quite wonky as well. There are a lot out there, but finding one that looks nice is quite difficult. Okay, so that is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so there is Victorian Elegance with a fringe. So if you would like to see how I made this fringe for Barbie, I will be uploading a tutorial in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that.